Hi guys and welcome back. So today um, I'm doing a product review video. Um, and I've finally managed to get hold of the Warhammer 40,000 Legends collection. Um, there's been all sorts of um, stories and all sorts of bits and pieces on the internet about this collection. Um, it's run by um, Hatchet Part, Part Works Limited. Um, and you've probably seen uh, their products in uh, in your local uh, sort of news agent and so on. In terms of um, they do multi part uh, collections of bits and pieces, and this is the first time they've really done one that's been um, in the GW or, or Warhammer world. Uh, and this one is exclusive for the Warhammer Forty Thousand world. Um, so what happened is is, is um, they basically did a trial run, um, apparently it's the way they do it, they do a trial run of four issues just to um, gauge um, the interest for the, for the product, um, but they, they totally forgot that they're now in the internet age and the internet went crazy over it, um, you all know what the um, forums are like and stuff in terms of passing information on and so on and basically <laughs> tons and tons of people tried to um, sign up to the subscription as soon as it was able to and their system allowed it to go through. Um, I was able to um, get on their subscription list and so on and was able to um, um, get on bits on their uh, records and so on and over the last say month or maybe even a bit longer um, I've had a few emails backwards and forwards from them saying that they're struggling to keep up with demand and bits and pieces like that. So um, what they've decided to do is stop the trial run at this stage, um, engage um, the interest, um, which is obviously very high, and how they're going to go around doing it in the future. So uh, what they've decided to do is give the first few issues. Um, free to the ones that have managed to uh, sign up and so on and this is basically the results of um, the first two issues so um, um, yeah basically the first issue is this one here the first heretic which is um, basically um, if I remember correctly the first part was only supposed to be something like two ninety nine dollars stuff in the supermarket and um, to get a hard cover version of a Horus Heresy book and a really good Horus Heresy book at only two ninety nine in the UK which is crazy good price um, so that's why it went crazy and yeah as you can see it's a proper decent hard, hardback book uh, full size um, nice there and it's basically part of the collection as well so there's supposed to be a bit of art on the stuff on the side there um, what they hadn't really sort of said much, and I haven't really seen much on the internet about it, is that each each book is individual as well. It's totally different to the Horus Heresy version of, of, of this book as well, um, being that um, they have a um, additional uh, where is it? additional collectors curators introduction as well. So it's an, uh, basically an extra few pages there, which is probably coming from Aaron. Dev Kibbon on there on there as well um, on that one so um, you get that plus um, decent quality uh, hardback and also in the back as well which a lot of people haven't seen is that it's also got a few decent sort of colour pages so that's that's the colour art page uh, done for the Horace Edge book um, timeline 40k universe a um, little bit on um, history of the warp and so on on this particular book and then also some pages of illumination so some p pieces of art from certain places as well um, which is really cool so this is um, a as a collector's edition it's a really cool book because it's got all this additional um, artwork and so on um, which you, people have probably seen or haven't seen but it's nice to have in the collection but it's all related to, to the book itself um, so like these pages have come from the straight sort of full draw Taurus Heresy books and so on. Um, so it's really cool to have stuff like this and then a little introduction to Black Library and Games Workshop there as well. Um, so yeah, all in all it's a really decent um, decent book. Um, the second it, um, issue was Xenos by Dan, Dan Agda, which is another decent series. 
Um, and I think uh, the way the series was supposed to go, I think it was supposed to go from uh, issue one to uh, issue seventy. So there was a decent decent range, and it was only supposed to be sort of nine ninety nine per per um, per issue. So yeah, it's, it's all good, all good value. Another curator there by Dan Edner. And then also again on the back here, that's also got a um, colour um, colour section there as well for for, for the um, Xenos one about the Inqu Inquisition timeline again, um, and then a, a bit of history about the Inqu Inquisition there as well, and um, Illuminations as well. So it all, all to do with um, Inquisitors and, and the um, Xenos series and so on. So that was um, really cool. This is um, a picture from the new. Um, uh, computer game series based on, albeit based on these books as well, so that's coming through in, in future, and there's even an advert for that computer game um, in the back of the book there as well. So um, yeah, so that's basically those. Um, there's also um, this part of it that comes with it, um, and this opens up and tells you basically what the series is supposed to be through there as well, um, with the the um, overriding sort of overall picture and stuff so you build a collection and it, it creates a, a picture there uh, and so on and um, that opens up itself into, um, into a timeline and a bit of history uh, a bit of art there as well so um, yeah it's really interesting a really interesting season, series um, uh, I think Patchwork as a, as a company were just um, overwhelmed by how many people try to apply um, for this and get on the system hopefully um, we will see um, hopefully we will see this come out as a proper release in the near future um, when they when they sort of able to realize that they, they're going to get a, a good good reaction to this and then we might be able to see some of these free gifts and stuff like that being passed out um, later on in history so um, yeah basically this is just a product review for for this uh, Legends collection which I managed to get hold of finally <laughs> um, in, in the past so um, basically that's that's this I'm gonna leave this here uh, I think I had an email that was saying that they were gonna give me uh, issue 3 and 4 um, I'll have to wait and see if that actually does turn up or not um, in, in the next few weeks and so on um, but this has taken a few weeks since the email said that I'll be within a week. Um, so let, let, we'll basically leave it there and take it from take it from there, guys. Um, so yeah, that's basically our product review for the uh, Legend Collection. Thanks a lot, guys, and see you in the future. Bye.